Cut and marker. I'm Gregory Kundi. I'm uh, singing the role of Otello in the production here at the Royal Opera. Begins on 9 of uh, December and goes till 22nd of December. And I'm Freddy De Tomaso. I'm singing the role of Cassio. Hmm. Otello is a warrior. He comes back from war. He finds his wife, beautiful wife, and they are reunited. Um, Iago would like to be Otello, and he plants a seed of jealousy in, in Otello's head. Makes him very makes Otello very jealous of Desdemona. Ends up, spoiler alert, Otello kills Desdemona oh. of jealousy. I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> Good question. Of course, it's something uh, I said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 for definitely. Is it Tarte, probably? No. What is it? Is it Tarte? Come on. Yeah, come on. So you have a Uraria. Come on. No, no, that entry of you. Oh, right. Okay. But if, it, if something that I sing, um, yeah, the little Fazzoletto Arietta bit, yeah, yeah, that's lovely. Yeah. Sure. And actually, the, 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 the big ensemble in Act 3, I think that's mm -hmm. magic. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I would have to say uh, the duet at the end of Act Two, Sibelce, is always exciting and wonderful to sing and very um, upbeat, upbeat ending of Act Two. Always a crowd pleaser. Inspiration, I think, probably is the word. Um, it's amazing to work in such um, fine detail. With the conductor, yeah, I think he certainly gets gets the best out of everybody. I didn't change the um, the interpret interpretation really at all. I mean, it's basically the same production that we're doing here. Uh, we've made a few changes since we were here, but um, not so much our interpretation, but the the audience in Japan is is really unique. They are extremely respectful. Of course, in this production, or in Otello in general, you don't applaud really at all. But their reaction at the end of the opera is always amazing. They are so, so enthusiastic. And when you finish, outside of the uh, auditorium, you come out of your dressing room and you're, you have reclothed, there are hundreds of people waiting for autographs. And they, and they, they're just so enthusiastic, not just at the theater, they'll follow you to the hotel as well. <laughs> they'll be in the hotel and they're there all the time. It's really, it, it's amazing. They're so enthralled with, uh, with opera in general. I've never, I've never been to Japan. It was just an amazing opportunity to go. And also it was, it was great to be able to watch uh, the whole process, the rehearsals here, and also going over to Japan and, and watching the stage rehearsals there. and. Because obviously knowing that I was going to have to do it in another couple of months and just preparing myself, it, um, it took quite a lot of pressure off me actually. It was good. It was really very helpful. Well, well the cinema obviously is probably the biggest thing that, that has come along since I began in 1978. That's about, what, 300 years ago? Um, yeah. And... I think participation of young people, um, university programs, I, I'm going to talk about America now, university programs in America, they all have opera programs now. When I was entering, I was an anomaly going into opera from uh, university. We were all choral conductors or we were, we were music teachers, very few soloists where I went to school anyway. There were conservatories, of course. But um, it, it was not it was not as popular as it is today. So many people want to be opera singers today. It's amazing, and uh, and that's great. It's good to keep the art going. It's uh, it's it's fun, and for me, it's it's fun to to help people along and to hopefully be inspirational to them. It's uh, it's it's how we're going to keep it going. Um, don't get married. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, I think it, it takes a big commitment today. Um, and I think I would say uh, to myself, 
uh, which I think I follow pretty well, is take your time. Uh, this is a long career. I mean, it, my, my example is 41 years I've been doing this. So it, it is a long, a long path, a long uh, journey that you're taking that hopefully, you know, will last you that long. I came from the old school and seeing people like Bergonzi and Pavel Pavarotti and, and uh, John Sutherland and those people having long careers and being at the peak of their career after doing it for maybe 20 years. And, uh, and that, I think it's extremely important that if you want to have a real career, I think a real career is from the time you start until you retire. And hopefully that won't be when you're 40, you know. So take your time, you know, uh, use your voice wisely and, and uh, just be careful. Well, hopefully to have taken all of that advice to follow that. Um, yeah, absolutely. I think that's certainly something that crosses all young singers' minds is, you know, where will I be in 5, 10, 20, 30 years, whatever. And yeah, making the right decisions at the right time, you know, pushing yourself, but sensibly, you know, not, uh, you know, not biting off more than you can chew, so to speak. And yeah, uh, yeah getting, to, getting to your age and still being able to do it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Still standing up. Yeah. Many, many. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what the future will bring? But I'm a big lover of Italian repertoire, so. Yeah. I can just say that I, during the Japan tour, you know, Freddie was covering and I never heard him sing. We spent a lot of time together, but I never heard him sing. And I was sitting in the rehearsal just a couple of weeks ago and he sang his first line and I was, wow. <laughs> oh. Well, that's a future Otello right there. And I'm serious, that, that's, that's going to be a great voice. Uh, it is a great voice. It's going to be even better. So, <laughs> I just I just can't wait. I'm so excited. Even in the dress rehearsal, I had to kind of pinch myself to think this is actually happening. I'm in the role of class single. Just yeah. you. Yeah. So, yeah. So I'm super excited. Come, come see Freddie in his debut. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. It's, um, it never gets old. Um, for me, too, it's, uh, it's just amazing to be at the Royal Opera and, uh, and to be in front of all these great artists with Carlos Alvarez and Emmanuel Yapo was a fantastic his demona, and everyone else, Papano and Pitt, who is incredible, uh, chorus, orchestra. What I want to say, if you are watching, um, and you are, uh, and you have children, um, bring them to the opera. I think if they can go to the movies, they can go to the opera. You will be very surprised, children will take to the opera very, very quickly, especially they have the super titles. You can see what's going on and you can tell them what's going on. But again, this visceral effect that children don't get, it, it, it draws them in and they will come back. They, they always love it. They always love it. So bring your children.